FEARS OVER EBOLA ARE SPREADING AS PREPARATIONS KICK INTO HIGH GEAR HERE AND ACROSS THE COUNTRY. GOOD EVENING. I'M TIFFANY KENNY. I'M TODD MCDERMOTT. THANKS FOR JOINING US HERE. DEVELOPMENTS MAKING HEADLINES RIGHT NOW. A TOP HEALTH OFFICIAL APOLOGIZED TODAY FOR WHAT HE CALLED MISTAKES IN HOW TEXAS HEALTH PRESBYTERIAN HOSPITAL IN DALLAS HANDLED THE VERY FIRST EBOLA PATIENT THERE. THOMAS ERIC DUNCAN WAS TOLD TO GO HOME a week before he was diagnosed with a deadly virus. Meanwhile, the two nurses who contracted Ebola from Duncan are receiving specialized treatment. Nina Pham is headed to Maryland in good condition. Amber Vinson is in Atlanta. Several passengers who came into contact with Vinson on a flight between Dallas and Cleveland are now quarantining themselves. And federal officials are considering barring other hospital workers who treated Duncan from getting on any airplanes. We have team coverage tonight. Ted White's on top of the national developments, but we begin with Angela Rozier, who's live outside the Palm Beach County Health Department. Now, Angela, you were with first responders today who began some very special training. That's right. As a matter of fact, it was sort of a refresher course for firefighters in Boca Raton. Now, we also moments ago just talked to officials here at the health department. They say they've been on the phone all day with CDC, and they also tell us the first responders here in our area are making the right moves. They are the first to respond in case of a medical emergency, and now they're making sure they remain safe in the process. These Boca Raton firefighters are getting some extra training in case they have to respond to an Ebola case right here. And we're uh, updating our, some of our gear, uh, how to put it on, how to don and doff our gear, put it on and take it off. The training sessions are taking place as Governor Rick Scott is asking the CDC to check all passengers who are on the same flight as a Dallas nurse who has the Ebola virus. That flight made a stop in Fort Lauderdale. In a statement released by the governor, he states in part, the CDC has already admitted that they have been slow to respond to developing cases of Ebola, and we do not want to take any risks of Ebola coming to Florida. Infectious disease experts at JFK Medical Center in Atlantis were on alert Wednesday when a patient who had visited Africa was rushed to the emergency room. Dr. Larry Bush says they followed CDC protocol, which included isolating the patient, obtaining information about her travels, and checking symptoms. He says they determined the patient showed no signs of Ebola. So our hospitals are equipped and prepared. I think in the situation we had yesterday, although obviously it turned out not to be a, ca a real case or even a potential case, uh, worked well, and I don't have any doubt that every hospital in this area would, would do exactly the same. And health officials here in Palm Beach County tell me it took 90 minutes to work that case at JFK Wednesday. They say they got the 911 call at around 7:59, and by 10:30, well, the situation was resolved. Now, coming up at six, we'll tell you why. Dr. Bush believes that the two nurses who became sick, he'll tell you why he thinks they became sick. As a matter of fact, lots of going on with the story nationally.